first step is to give us a call on 0300 303 1000 or to email us at foster at rochdale.gov.uk. Um, if you contact us by either method, we'll call you back, we'll have an in-depth discussion, chat, answer your questions, chat about fostering and, and what it involves, the different types of fostering, um, and, and go through that with you. There's no pressure. And if at that stage you want to get some more information, we'll arrange, usually we'd do a visit to your home and talk things through in much more detail. But obviously at the moment, we're not able to do that. So we're doing um, initial visits virtually. So we'll um, do a Skype call, do a video call, telephone call, if, if that's the best we can do. And we'll talk through um, all about fostering. We'll arrange to speak for you to speak to one of our existing foster carers, if that's something you'd like to do. Um, answer all your questions and talk in much more detail about your personal circumstances and your situation. Um, at that point then, if you want to make an application because you think you'd like to go ahead, we get your application, we start doing what we call stage one checks or statutory checks, which is things like medical references, DBS. Again, some of those have been done in different ways just because of the situation at the moment. Um, so medicals are self-certified and, and things like that, but we're still doing the same checks. Um, and we would also normally offer three days preparation training which is three full days. And at the moment, we're looking at ways to do that uh, virtually and we'll be inviting everybody to attend. So you won't miss out by doing it at this stage. It'll just be done a little bit differently. Once we've got all those checks back, the next stage is to do the actual full assessment. Uh, and that involves usually a, a social worker visiting you um, six times, eight times, and they will go through um, your sort of social life history in more detail, your education, um, experience of education, experience of parenting, your social history, where you grew up, all the things like that, work experience, lots of different aspects of your life. Uh, that can feel a little bit intrusive. Some people really enjoy it. So it's almost like counselling or therapy, uh, but you know, it can be a little bit intrusive, but all that exploration at that stage helps us to get the right match and the right child for you and really understand what will work for you and your family. So it's really, really important um, to do that, do that thoroughly. Um, once we've done all our work with you, we'll write all that up and produce an assessment report. You will see that, you'll read that, you'll agree the contents of that uh, and make sure you know it's accurate and, and it reflects you. And that will then go to fostering panel. Fostering panel is made up of independent people from not part of the service and they basically um, ratify our recommendation, check our report, uh, meet with you and your assessing social worker and they make a recommendation to the agency decision maker who has the final say on approval. Um, once you're approved with Rochdale Council, we'll start looking for the right match for you and for your family. The person who's done your assessment will then become your supervising social worker and stay with you for at least the first 12 months of approval. That's the hardest time, I think, to adjust to being a foster care. Just like if you start any new job, there's a, a period of finding your feet and, and working out what your new role is and things like that. So I think it's really important that that person who's gone through those first stages with you, who's really got to know you and understand you, can then stay with you for that first year and, and kind of do that hand-holding really. So it's really, really important. And we also offer um, a new support group um, that we've set up in the last six months, which is specifically for new carers. So there'll be people on there maybe that you met at the prep training. Uh, it helps you to make those bonds and go through all those first things together. Um, and get to know people who are doing the same role as you as well. So don't forget, if you're thinking about fostering, please contact us 0300 303 1000 or foster at rochdale.gov.uk. Thank you.